Okay, so we've got our context file set up. Again, this is the thing that, that tells us how to connect into the database, right? It's got the, the name of the table. And then we're saying that each one of those entries is going to come into a Marriott food object. We have our Marriott food template, which shows the different elements, the shape, I say, the, of, the, of the object, what it's supposed to look like. We need to have a slot for each of those fields that are coming in from the, the row to land in in .NET. So we've got this set up. And uh, what's next? How do we connect to the database? You may recall, we've got to put some other entries. So in our app settings.json, we have to say where the database is going to be located. So we make a new entry, comma, opening quote there, connection strings, which it's doing for us. And it's saying, uh, you know, it's giving us the, the default connection name. But what we want to say here is the name of the connection. We can name it whatever we want to. I'm going to name mine the food connection. Okay, and then the server in this case, we're just going to say data source equals, and then I'm going to call it Marriott food dot uh, SQLite. So Marriott food dot SQLite. That's going to be the name of our database. All right, so I'll save that. And then where else, what else do we need to do to get this thing running? This is just an entry to say where it is, but this doesn't actually set anything up. Where we set it up is over here in the program CS file, you might recall. So in here, we add this line before we do this var app builder build line as we're setting up all the configuration for this particular app. And I say builder.services dot and then we're going to add a DB context file. Which DB context file? Well, it's the one we just created, our food DB context. So I say food DB context, which it doesn't recognize at first, so I'll bring in my import for the data folder, and it recognizes that, and then we pass in the options. Again, we set it up that way, right? In our FoodDB context that we were gonna receive options. And so in our program CS file, we pass in options and the option we set it to, in this case, we wanna use SQLite, which is the package that we imported. It's not gonna recognize it at first. We need to bring in Microsoft Entity Framework Core SQLite, right? Or Microsoft Entity Framework Core and then it goes out to the configuration file for the entry under connection strings and grabs the name of the connection. Now the name of the connection in our case is food connection, not full stack fun context. So we're gonna drop in here instead and say food connection. All right, so now we've got that chain set up in terms of the data the different pieces. This is what a, a row is gonna look like from the database. This is what the table is gonna look like from the database. This is where the database is located. And then this is an entry to go in and, and actually make that connection to SQLite using that particular connection string with that food DB context. So what's our next step? Our next step is to run a migration. So let's do that. So I'm gonna come in uh, to the project. So I'm gonna right click on the project, open in terminal, which will open to the right folder. And then in here, I'm gonna run that migrations command. Do you remember what it is? .NET EF, which stands for Entity Framework, migrations, add, and usually I type in initial, but just to show that you don't have to do that, I'll type in first, okay? Enter. And it will go in and build a folder called migration. So we built that. We have in here our migration, which says, okay, what we're going to do, I'm looking at the, the, the data that's currently in place in .NET. I'm looking at the, the database. There isn't a database. And so I need to sync these things up. So 
I'm going to go in and create a table called foods and the foods is going to have as columns food ID, event name, vendor and food rating, which comes from our MarriottFood.cs file, right? Our Marriott food model. I'm going to set the primary key equal to food ID. And then if there's a need then I'll drop the table first and then add it. Um, so this is going to go in and set up the database. So what's the next command I run? Dot net EF database update. So this will go take that migration and make any changes that have occurred either in the database or in the models since our last migration. Well, we don't have any database, so this is going to go in and build us a database. So I say .NET EF database update. And if I've done everything right, then sure enough, it builds this Marriott Food SQLite database for us. All right, I open that up. And look, and sure enough, in there I have a foods table with the different columns that came from my model. Excellent. So let's go ahead and just add some foods in here uh, so we have some data in here. So if I go to the Browse Data table and click on this little button, Insert a New Record into the Current Table, I can click on that and then just go add in some foods. So. Um, just some sample foods I'll, I'll go here. So let's say there was a um, AIS activity, an AIS social, and the vendor was Chick-fil-A. Always a popular vendor. And what's the rating? Now, I'm a latecomer to Chick-fil-A. I, I never ate it when I was younger. It seemed expensive compared to the little you know tacos or whatever I was getting, you know, McDonald's dollar menu. And so I, I didn't eat a lot uh, of Chick-fil-A growing up, but uh, my wife really likes Chick-fil-A. And my kids, as it turns out, really like Chick-fil-A. And so I have evolved and come to love Chick-fil-A. It's great. But I'm also a pretty big foodie. And so, you know, compared to all the food you could possibly eat, that, that's what these scores are gonna be. And Chick-fil-A is really good, but I would probably give it like a seven, right? I know some of you will be offended at that. I'm looking at you, Maya. Okay, so that's one entry. Let's go and put another entry. AIS social. And so let's say we have a Marriott night or something like that. I don't know what they serve. But let's say they were serving J-Dogs. Okay, I really, really like J-Dogs. So I might say an eight. Okay. And then uh, let's say we have another entry. That's uh, just a, you know, whatever info session. And uh, on that one, they had Domino's pizza. Nothing wrong with Domino's, but compared to the other options out there, maybe like a, you know, I don't know, four or five, I don't know, because there's so many great options, right? So few pieces of data, we've got that into the database. I can say, write changes, and uh, it'll, it'll keep that information in there. And then now I have some data in the database that I can pull in React as we get this set up. All right, so that's it to, to run the migrations, get the database built. Let's actually uh, start working on how we can serve the data so that React can consume it. Starting the next video, Spencer out.